Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, I want to show you how to edit your host's file. So this is a tip especially for web developers. So say you're setting up a new site at a new server and the DNS hasn't yet resolved to point the domain name to that server. Or perhaps you're actually moving the domain name to a new server and you want to test it out before you do the big DNS switchover for the entire internet. Well, there's a way to actually have your Mac point to the new server without having the rest of the internet do it. The host file is basically your little local DNS. It will map a domain name to an IP address if you wanted to. So you can add an entry in there specifically for the site you're working on to point to the exact web server that you're developing on. So in order to do this you're going to have to have enabled the root user. To see how to do that you go to this support page at Apple. And once you have root user enabled you can go into terminal and edit this host file. You're going to do it using sudo first because you have to do this as the root user. And then one of the many text editors available in terminal will use nano. And then the host file can be found at slash etc slash hosts. And here's the file. So there's not much in it to begin with. And yours may look a little different depending upon what operating system you started off with on your Mac. But basically it's a list with IP addresses on the left and domain names on the right. So for instance uh, if I wanted to put a fake IP address in here and I could map it to any domain name I want like that. And then I can exit by using control X and yes for saving changes right to that file and I've now overwritten the host file with my new version. Now in some places you hear that you may need to flush the DNS cache. You can do that with the DS cache util flush cache command here. I've never had to use that so uh, it always seems to work for me right away. So using that example if I would now open Safari, Firefox, any browser or anything, FTP client, email, whatever and go to mydomainname.com it would map that to the IP address I specified in my host file regardless of what's out there in DNS servers on the internet. So if I just established a new account at a new hosting service I can build a website there tell my Mac that the site exists there and actually view it as anybody else would eventually. I could test it out make sure it works great and then actually do the DNS change for the rest of the world to switch over to the new server. Oh and when you do the main DNS switch make sure you remove this entry from your host file or just comment out the line so that you can see the site just like everybody else does. Hope you found this tip useful. Till next time this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.